Hi everyone, it's Kara and I'm here with um, the fifth and final step in how I make my mini junk journals. I apologize that, um, for the length of time it took me to get this done, but I got busy at work and uh, just wasn't feeling any of that crafty mojo lately. So I finally um, pulled it together and have it all finished. Thankfully I had a little help from some of my crafty friends over at Mini Album Scraps tonight with the binding and I'll show you that in just a second. But basically the fifth um, step for me consists of adding any embellishments that I'm going to to the pages and then doing the cover and putting it together. Um, in this particular book, because I wanted to keep it pretty um, flat um, so it could be used, I didn't do a lot of embellishing. I used some laces. You already saw the stamps, the inks that I did. Um, I did add, like I said, some laces and I added um, some tags to pockets and things like that. But here is the final um, cover and how it looks. And I did do this one a little bit differently than I had before. Let me just adjust this a little bit, guys. Um, the binding that I've done on the other ones that I've made, I've used my cinch for and done something similar to this one that I made myself. Uh, this time I used, I wanted to try some of the O-rings because I had quite a few of them that I had bought before I got the cinch. And when I got it together, um, even though like on this one, I like the look of just the plain binding. I really didn't like the look of the plain O-rings. So I'd never really done anything like this with the laces and the trims, and I was having a hard time figuring out what to put on here. And the ladies over at Mini Album Scraps were very nice and looked at a few pictures for me and gave me some opinions. So I want to thank all of them for that help. Um, the cover back and front is just covered with um, some of the paper from the that same line that I was using. And I typically, on the covers I've done, when it's been the paper, I sand all of the edges down and I give them kind of that distressed look. I take off a little bit of the paper on the corners and then I ink with some distress inks, which is exactly what I did here. And then this um, gorgeous flower is one of my favorites from Cat Scrappiness. Um, she has a great little store that offers a variety of die cuts in felt and some chipboard and she's going to start carrying um, very very soon if she hasn't already uploaded some more um, some wood die cuts I think it's balsa or balsam wood and they look gorgeous I'm hoping to have some of those soon um, I am on her design team so um, I can't wait to see those and I'm hoping to use those in some upcoming projects very very soon but um, I will put a link down below for that, for Kat's store. And just to let you know, um, at her store now, there is free shipping for $35 or more if you purchase from her. And also right now, she's doing a special for Easter. She has an Easter um, coupon, which is 10% off your purchase. So I'll put that code down below as well. So you can check out her um, store. This obviously is some Tim Holtz goodness, and this is just a, a flower that a crafty friend sent me in a rack and then some more um, this is kind of a crocheted lace that I put down there and then for the embellishments like I said I didn't do a lot more than what you guys have already seen with the stamping and the inking um, I added some lace trim to various pages like right here this is some of that gorgeous lace that Christy sent me um, in other places I added some other kinds things like that and used, you know, some of that dictionary, again, that Christy sent me. Put some tags in some of the pockets, like here and here. Those are all the things that I had cut out and prepped in the beginning. Some more of that lace. Those are the kind of things that I did um, because I did want to keep it somewhat flat. As you can see, it got a little thick because I think I went a little overboard in adding things to it, but um, it is a gift for someone. I hope she likes it. If she happens to not like all of the ribbon on the side, she can remove it because it's pretty simply tied on there. So anyway, that's the last of it. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I am going to be doing another junk journal very soon, but completely different. I'm going to change it up and do a much larger one. Um, I'm hoping to start that in the next week or so. So I hope you guys come back and check that out. And um, again, thanks for watching. Bye.